Hey, 30 Minute Marketers. In today's quick video, we're going to be talking about Amazon KDP. And we're going to be talking about keyword research. And I'm going to be showing you a new tool from BookBolt that is going to help you tremendously when doing this Amazon KDP keyword research. If you're new to the channel, I'm Gary Baker, and I'm here to show you how to do more to mark your message in less time. And to do that, remember, it's not about faster, it's about focus. So let's get into Amazon KDP and keyword research. So, of course, if you go to the Kindle Direct Publishing bookshelf or you log into your account, of course, if you're creating a paperback book, you'll scroll down and you'll see that you have the keyword section where you choose up to seven keywords that describe your book. Uh, of course, keywords are optional, but most definitely would be more optimal if you enter keywords that are relevant that describe your book. And you can see right here, choose up to seven keywords to describe your book. How do, how do I choose keywords? There's a little short paragraph here. And there's also a great site or a great informational site that Amazon gives you about learn more about KDP keyword rules. If you click over to that, you'll go over and you can see how you can make your, make your book more discoverable with keywords. To make your book easier to find on Amazon, you need keywords that accurately portray your book's content and reflect the words customers will use when they search. And then it talks about how to add and update your keywords. And then some keys here are where it talks about best practices and some ways to combine keywords and put them in a logical order. For example, customers search for military science fiction, but probably not for fiction science military. And then they do some keywords to avoid, of course, and some other metadata. So you should for sure check out this page, this very useful page from kdp.amazon.com. Again, you get to that straight from your bookshelf inside of your KDP account where it talks about keywords and how to set up those keyword phrases. Now let's jump over to Amazon and do some actual keyword research. And then I'm going to show you the new tool from BookBolt that's going to help you again tremendously with your keyword research and getting these optional keywords optimized here inside of your bookshelf when you're setting up your new books or even your other books or even your older books that you can always go back and edit. Of course, one of the things to take note about that is the fact, can you change your keywords? Right here from Amazon KDP, their knowledge base, you can change keywords and descriptions as often as you like. So here's the thing, using this new book bolt tool, you're going to be able to optimize these keywords and descriptions. So we'll take a look at that in a second, but let's hop over to Amazon real quick and just do some research. So here I am on Amazon, and the first thing I'm going to type in is just owl, as in the bird. And you're going to see some uh, suggestions pop up here. And this is one of the recommended ways they suggest you do suggestions. It's just look at the suggestions, or of course, you can install this Chrome extension that I have, which is Amazon Suggestion Expander, which is going to give you the Amazon suggestions here on the left in white. And you're going to have keywords before, so night owl, Harry Potter owl, stuffed owl, meeting owl, and then keywords after, so stickers, moon, gifts for women, and then others, backyard, porch, baby, uh, boat dock. What we're specifically looking for is owl notebooks, or in this case, we'll go with gifts and just see what owl gifts show up. So, of course, you could see there that once you type in owl gifts, you're going to see a list of gifts here that show up and this is going to give you some good ideas for things that people like when they're interested in owls and this niche but for our purposes we're going to type in owl notebooks because we're talking about Amazon KDP so we'll go ahead and we'll see here owl notebooks and you can see owl notebooks that are for sale and of course I have this extension which is installed the DS Amazon Quick View Extender and you can see some pertinent information here as far as BSR and the ASN number. Now we're going to need this ASN number in a second when I show you this new book bolt tool. So we're going to make sure that we're looking at paperbacks because that's what we're interested in. So here is a paperback book. You can see there is no rank for that book as far as the BSR. But there is one here which is another OWL notebook. Owl You Need Is Love, Cute Owl Notebook Journal. You can see this has a really decent uh, BSR here, or pretty good BSR. What we're interested in here is this ASN number. So we'll go ahead and we'll copy that ASN number, and then we're going to hop over to BookBolt. 
Of course, if you don't have BookBolt, I'll leave a link in the description in the pinned first comment where you can hop over and you can get access to BookBolt. And then you'll have access to this new tool, which is Book Scout. So inside of Book Scout, what BookBolt is giving you is they're giving you a what they call a reverse ASN lookup. So we copied that ASN. We're going to paste that in there. Again, that is the ASN right here that this uh, DS Amazon Quick View Extender is bringing up or you can click on the product itself and then when you click on the product you'll be able to find that ASN number and to find that ASN number you would simply scroll down once the product page loads and what you're looking for here is the ISBN 10 is the ASN number for Amazon so if you don't have the extensions installed that's how you would look that up then you would go back over to BookBolt and of course you would enter that ASN and click search and you're gonna see here that this is collecting the product data now this will take some time to gather this data, so you just have to be patient and wait for that. You can see down here, it's give you a little progress bar, and we'll go ahead and we'll wait for that data to collect, and we'll take a look at that and see exactly how we can use this new Book Bolt tool called Book Scout to give us the information we're looking for when we're talking about editing or optimizing those KDP keywords. And now you can see right here, this is the thing that uh, Book Bolt book bolt and book scout is giving you it's giving you the product the title and the description but here is the book scout main feature is the keywords that are being used the rank the search volume seasonality and the categories that people are looking for or that this book author is using to optimize their keyword lookup so to make sure that everyone is able to find their notebook so as you can see here, there's things like all I need is love, all we need is love notebook, all you need is love notebook. Here's one barn owl notebook. So be anxious for nothing notebook journal. So what you can see here is you're going to see, for example, cat journal notebook. Now all of these may not make sense. So the tool is not necessarily here for you to just enter the ASN number and then just blindly copy the keywords that this notebook is using. What you need to do is you need to use this as another tool in your tool belt and then of course use the best tool that you have which is your own brain and your own intuition when it comes to doing keyword research but in my opinion this is very valuable as you can see here cute love notebooks or cute love books cute owl calendar daily journal notebook some things that you might not have thought of to utilize for an owl notebook that the new book bolt book scout is giving you of course you can see here our composition notebook our journal notebook these are the regular things that you probably would have thought of but then you get down here and you actually go through these and you may not have thought of things like happy journal notebook a guided journal notebook as well as diary notebook journal for women and then of course the other ones up here which talk about all you need is love notebook so if we were to take this example, Cute Owl Journal, go ahead and hop over to Amazon, go to Cute Owl Journal and all, and go ahead and do that search. You'll see here, you're going to get a lot of ideas from the titles, as well as the descriptions inside of these books. So you go scroll down through there, and I believe if we keep scrolling, we'll most likely see the journal that we used in our first example when we're looking up owls, and here it is. Owl You Need Is Love, and of course, all you need is love and love book. Those are the kind of keywords that you'll use to create the keywords inside of your book description, your paperback details. You'll fill those in, use those keywords, do exactly what makes sense. Follow the suggestions that Amazon has given you here. Learn more about KDP's keyword rules. Most definitely spend some time, understand the rules, understand what Amazon and KDP is looking for inside of their keywords. Take that and use that with the information that BookBolt has given you inside of their new Book Scout tool. Put those together, optimize your keywords, and you'll have a much better chance of ranking and having people find your paperback books. Of course, low content, no content, whatever it is you're doing. Of course, again, the link for BookBolt will be in the description and the pinned first comment. So go ahead and check that out. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, 30-minute timer here on the end screen. Click that to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.